What's going on? Welcome to Cineguac. Today I'm going to show you how to create a draw on effect. This is very similar to a tutorial I did on how to write on text, only believe it or not, it's actually way easier. So in case you want to learn how to write on text, I'll provide a link in the description below. Anyway, let's dig into it. Cineguac. So the first thing you want to do is drag your video clip to the timeline. And as you can see here, I have this clip of me sitting in my chair and pretending to write I heart you. And what we can do is find the part of the clip that we want. So we can sort of begin right around here, right before I start drawing. Let's just drag the beginning. And then I proceed to mime I heart you. And we can end it right there. And let's just drag our video clip to the very beginning of the timeline. And let's just zoom in so that we have a better idea of what we're doing. So once we have our video clip on the timeline trimmed just the way that we want, what we can do is just sort of play it through and find the point where you begin writing your first letter or symbol. So my finger begins to move right around there. So let's head over to our razor tool and make a cut right there. Then let's head over to our effects library and search for an effect called write on. You'll find the write on effect in your video effects generate subfolder and drag the write on effect to your second clip. And with that video layer selected, let's head up to effects controls and scroll down to our write on options. And right here you can sort of customize the look of your brush. So let's just go ahead and change the color to something more interesting than white. So we can click on this little white rectangle and let's just pick something, maybe pink. And then we can go ahead and increase our brush size. So let's change this from 2 to maybe 35. And you'll see the moment we enlarge the brush size, you can now see this little pink dot appear right in the center of the frame. Honestly, I think we can even increase the brush size a little bit. Let's see what 45 looks like. There we go. That's a little bit more visible. And with your playhead all the way at the very first frame, what you want to do is select your brush position. And the moment you highlight that, you'll see this little blue circle appear around your dot. What you want to do is just drag this to the tip of your finger. And then set a keyframe for your brush position. And with the right on effect selected, what you can do is just hit the right arrow on your keyboard, just a couple frames. So I just hit that four times moving four frames forward, and then you can drag your brush down to your finger so that it looks like it's following that path. And then let's just skip ahead a couple more frames. One, two, three. No, it looks like it's only two. And we can just drag that to our finger point. So now as you can see, when you play that back, it basically just follows the path of your finger. And just to make this line a little bit smoother, what we can do is head over to our brush spacing and let's change this to 0 0.001. And once you're done with that, let's just continue playing the clip through and let's find the point where we begin drawing the second symbol. In this case, I begin drawing a heart. So my finger begins moving right about there. So let's repeat the exact same steps. Let's go back to our razor tool and make a cut right there. And once again, let's head over to our effects library and grab the very same write on effect and drag that onto our last clip. And with that layer selected, we can head up to effects controls and scroll down. And this is our original write on effect. So what we can do is just click on the color and we can just copy this color code. And then we can just minimize this. And we can just go to our new write on effect for the heart and head over to our color, click on the white rectangle and just paste the exact same color code. That way everything is uniform, everything is the same color. And let's just increase the brush size to 45, just like before. Once again, you can customize this however you want. And let's change the brush spacing to 0.001. And with our playhead at the very first frame, let's just repeat the exact same steps we did a moment ago. So let's select our brush position and let's drag our brush to the tip of my finger and set a keyframe for brush position and just skip ahead one, two, three, four, five and select the right on effect 
and just drag that to my finger point. And you'll see the moment you move it, it's going to automatically place a new keyframe right here. And let's continue. One, two, three. And move it over there. And one, two, three. And one, two, three. And I'm pretty sure we end it right there. So basically you can see I essentially lift my finger and then I continue the heart right over here. So now what we're gonna do is find the point in the clip where my finger begins drawing the second half of the heart, which looks like it's right about here. So with our razor tool selected, let's make a cut right there and repeat all the same steps once again. So go to effects library, drag the right on effect onto our new video layer. And with that layer selected, head up to effects controls, scroll down, we can minimize our second right on effect and only work with our third now. Under color, this should still be copied so we can paste that exact color, hit okay, and adjust the brush spacing and adjust the brush size. And with the brush position selected, move this to my finger point and I can just speed through this part. And that's about it. Now it's a pretty ugly heart, but you know, that's my fault for miming it that way. Of course you can do a better job when you actually record yourself doing this, but you get the point. Anyway, let's continue playing the clip through. So now I begin drawing the U right here and my finger begins moving right at that point. So let's just repeat all those same steps. And once again, I can just speed through this part. And there you have it. When you play it through, it looks something like this. Now, of course, my handwriting is terrible and this is the ugliest heart I've ever seen. But once again, hopefully you get the point and you can do a better job than I did. Thanks for watching. These videos take a long time to make, so show me some love and hit that subscribe button. Also, I take requests. So if there's any type of tutorial you'd like to see, comment down below and I'll do my best to make it happen.